The psychosocial development for adolescents is Erickson's stage of identity versus role confusion. The key developmental task is that adolescents need to form a sense of identity and decide who they are and what type of person they will be. What do you want to do in the future? Um, I, to tell the truth, um, I don't really know 100%. There's a bunch of things that I like to go into. Like, I'm really into writing, so I could go into journalism. Or, um, I'm also really into politics, so I sort of want to go into that. And, but I really like science, so right now I have no idea. <laughs> It kind of changes every week, but right now I'm thinking something in the medical field, not a doctor, because I want like I want more patient interaction. If they don't form um, a sense of identity, a they develop a sense of role confusion and may have difficulty gone. achieving effectively as adults because they don't know who they are. Do you think that you are treated like an adult? Um, sometimes, depending who I'm around. Like, Teenagers are caught girl, between being seen as a child and approaching adulthood, adult which can be a confusing period because of the expectations I mean, society places on them. This is an important struggle for the developing adolescent. Do you think that when you're out in public or in school that adults treat you unfairly? And if you do, do you have any examples of one that might have happened to you? Um, yes, because, I don't know, I, when I, where I work, some of the like older customers think that you're just like this young teenager girl like who doesn't know much but really like I do know a lot more than what most people think like I don't know like they just treat you like oh you're like this little teenager like don't talk and most people have this stereotype that teenagers are like rebellious and they just you know do whatever they want can you tell me a little bit more about how that makes you feel when people do that to you it's aggravating you want to like throw that change in their face it really is. It's so frustrating. It's important when the nurse is approaching or working with the adolescent that the nurse listens to what the teen has to say. And the nurse needs to listen with a non-judgmental attitude. Communicating with adolescents um, can be quite challenging sometimes because they're in a period of important transition. They're moving away from the security of their families um, into the world where there's pressures and learning to gain self-identity, um, confidence and security. So when you're approaching an adolescent, it's really important that you maintain a very calm, non-judgmental and open approach that's welcoming and warm to the teenager and that's very accepting. And it looks here like you're 18? Yes. Okay. Um, well, the first time visits require a little bit more time. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Okay. Um, it's just to provide you with the best care, get to know each other. And then um, after that, we'll focus on anything that concerns you. Okay. okay. Are you taking any medications right now? Not right now. Any allergies to medicines? No. What grade are you in, Bethany? Are you I'm in school? Are you working? I'm a senior in high school. Oh, congratulations. Oh, Big year, you. huh? Thanks. What high school do you go to? Marlboro High School. And how are things going this year for you? Um, they're going pretty well. I mean, it's kind of just coasting because just getting ready. I'm about ready to be done, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting at this point because mm -hmm. all set. So. Senior year typically is one of the busiest years. Lots of big decisions to make. Mm -hmm. um, how are you managing your classes, your academics? I don't know. Things are pretty easy at this point. I mm -hmm. mean, I guess the teachers just sort of assume that, <laughs> you know, they're not going to do any work, so we're not going to assign any work. So, it works for me. What are your grades like? They're, they're good, mostly A's and B's. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Do you have any future goals for yourself? Just to, I guess, go to college and do well and um, expand my horizons, I guess. Now, have you decided on a certain track that you're going to take? Psychology and theater. Great. Do you, do you find that you have li lots of groups of friends at school? Yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of friends, but I, I don't know. I, I have a problem with closed-mindedness, I guess. And I guess that's something I'm looking forward to in college, is just uh, being with, with kids who, who are more accepting and more willing to, um, you know, accept. Um. 
do you find that there's a lot of clicks in school? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's going to change, but I mean, I guess we all, I've found my click. I don't really like that word, but, mm -hmm. um, but they, they exist, you know. They do. Every high school tends to have groups of sure. peers that are attracted based on clothes or a way of talk, a way of music. Mm -hmm. um, what I think is really important is for you to have a group that you feel comfortable in. And um, it sounds like that's the case with your... Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of... I, I don't like to uh, associate myself with one particular group. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a jock, or I'm a music geek, or mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, I kind of like to... So you're to versatile. I try to be. Communication can be challenging in the um, sense that they're still confused. Uh, there may be periods of role confusion. They, they're not necessarily um, confident. They don't know exactly who they are. They're in a stage of experimentation.